Okay, hello! If you're still there, Dee, if you wouldn't mind telling us if our audio is okay. This is how my voice is going to sound for the whole <laughs> session. Great. Well, uh, if you are joining us, um, just so you know, you can just go down at the bottom there. There's a blank or sorry, on the right, I guess, on your screen. You can type something in and just push this blue say button. And it'll let you pick a um, nickname. Pick whatever you want. You can be anonymous if you want and yell at us and make fun of us. Or you can actually reveal your identity and ask questions, make comments. And then uh, just press enter and then you can chat. I'll give you an example. Hi. And then I have to pick a nickname, because I've already given them that one. K M for Christy and Michelle. That's us. I'm solid Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess it is 6.30, so we will start. Um, so again, if you guys want, we would really appreciate it if you guys joined in. This is never something where you want it to just be like a one-ended conversation. We really want to hear your questions. We want to hear your comments. We want to hear you tell us how pretty and amazing and funny we are. Um, these are the kind of things we need you to say. So just go down again on the right, click something in, press the blue say button. It'll ask you to pick a nickname, put something in, press enter, and you are chatting. Um, all right, so we got a couple of viewers on. If you guys want to participate, that would be great. Otherwise, feel free to. Um, you can see at the bottom of that screen. Okay, so we'll start with a little introduction. My name is Christy. Uh, my name is Christy Schmier. I own a business called Piranha Holistic in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, for my friends abroad. And um, I like to specialize in hormone health as one of my big areas of passion, as well as digestive health. Uh, my name is Michelle McWhorter, and I'm a chiropractor here in the West End, and I have my own chiropractic office, and uh, I specialize in spinal reconstruction. Michelle McWhorter. There's our names. Sweet. Cool. All right, so today, as you guys heard, we're talking about a very sexy, sexy, kind of a little freaky topic called uh, talking about how sitting is the new smoking. And so hopefully that's pretty clear what we mean by that. But if it's not, what we mean is that they have done so, many, so much more research about how sitting is actually as detrimental and potentially more detrimental to your health as smoking ever was. But people don't see it that way. Yeah, yeah but just as a society, we spend so much time sitting now, um, it has actually become a bigger problem than smoking. So that's what we want to talk about. Yeah, I don't know too many people who don't sit. But I know a lot of people who don't. Yeah, smoke. I mean, your job doesn't have to be sitting. Mm -hmm. It could be you go home from work and you plunk your butt on the couch and you sit for the rest of the night. That's sitting. <laughs> <laughs> like we're doing right now. No, we're not. We were going to try to do it standing, but it was impossible to get it high enough because I'm a giant. Okay, so we did our introductions. So the general things I want we're going to kind of talk about is. Um, so sitting puts you at risk for weight gain, but more specifically for diabetes, for metabolic disorders, for insulin sensitivity. Um, it puts you at higher risk for heart disease, for death by all causes. It puts you at higher risk for um, general pain and Absolutely. like neurological and emotional issues. Yep. Right, you were talking yep. about? Yeah. Um, all kinds of things. Yeah. Is there something? Oh yeah, heart disease. We talked about heart disease. Yeah, we did. Oh, you're gonna die earlier too, just so you know, if you sit all the time. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. Okay. Um, okay. And apparently we are too because we're sitting. Yes. Okay. So uh, we're going to talk about, kind of just give you a little idea of what we're going to talk about because Michelle's a chiropractor. She's going to be the expert on body structural type stuff. And she's going to talk a bit about brain health as well. I'm going to talk a bit about hormones, um, heart health, and just general long longevity. And then after we've terrified you completely, we're going to give you some ideas of what to do about this because we all know that all of you can't go out there and get a job as a construction worker or a gardener or a whatever the hell that's actually going to be active. We expect you to quit your jobs tomorrow. <laughs> There's going to be no sitting anymore. Um, so yeah, so we'll give you some idea of, of what to do. And then just in the spirit of transparency, we're also going to tell you if you wanted to work more with either of us to help with... Um, that stuff F further we're going to tell you how it's not going to be a big part of this. this isn't a sales pitch it actually is educational <coughs> but i don't think we're going to be serving you very well if you don't tell us if we don't tell you what else we think we can do for you so right. just to give you a little heads up on what's going to happen <laughs> <laughs> so talking about spine and structure 
Um, and from everything that both of us have read, uh, no matter how fancy your chair is or how uh, proper you think you're sitting, um, the structure of your spine changes when you're sitting because you're sitting on your hips and therefore your low back is going to support the, your, the rest of your body. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to wear out. It's going to be unhappy. Um, versus when you're standing, your weight is distributed through your low back, hips, knees, and ankles, which is healthier and then promotes healthier curves for your spine. That being said, I don't care who you are or what kind of chair you have, if you're going to sit for any period of time, you can watch us, you're going to end up slouching. It just happens. It's um, gravity. So the big thing I want to talk about is uh, what we call forward head posture. So what that is, is when you're sitting, your head falls forward from your shoulders. And Dr. Michael Hall, who's a chiropractic neurologist, has done a lot of research in this area and found that when your head falls forward, it stretches your spinal cord through your neck and it also compresses your brainstem. And they've linked this posture to uh, MS, autoimmune diseases, heart disease, and in emotional instability. So just some small things, small, aside from the fact shoulder pain and you know, the carpal tunnel, um, I think those are more well known. Um, problem being is when you have the muscles that support your spine, postural muscles, when you start to slouch over a period of time, what happens is those muscles stop working. And the, the importance of those muscles, they don't do anything, they don't, they just keep you erect. Um, they constantly send feedback to your brain. So if you're sitting, if you're standing upright, moving around, those muscles are sending uh, signals constantly to your frontal cortex of your brain. And the frontal cortex is responsible for logical thinking, uh, planning, uh, and if those muscles are stretched out and they stop sending that constant feedback, what happens is the temporal lobes take over. If you know anything about your temporal lobes, uh, they control emotions, uh, hormones. So if you think about it, if you slouch, temporal lobes take over and what happens is uh, hormones go to whack and emotions go to whack. Sitting, therefore, then will affect, and Chrissy's going to talk about this a little bit more, uh, emotional stability and how well your hormones are working for you. Sorry, I was just posting again. Yes. Cool. Um, so, uh, la -la -la -la. Uh, <laughs> if you just joined us, uh, you can just join the chat. We would love to hear you guys. Um, if you just join the chat, uh, there's a little uh, cursor. Type something in there, press the blue say button, pick a nickname, join in. We would really like to hear and have some conversation about this. Okay, so Michelle talked about body structure, brain structure, how this is affecting you. And again, this is regardless of how you sit. You can be a like uber straight soldier person and it doesn't matter. Um, what ends up happening is you're engaging different muscles and by engaging those muscles, you're actually developing certain enzymes. They're enzyme rich muscles. When they're not engaged, they actually drop by like 90%. And so those enzymes are breaking down fat, they're breaking down cholesterol in your blood, and they drop 90 to 95% in the first two hours of sitting. And so what ends up happening is your, your good cholesterol, your HDL, plummets 20%. And that measure of, you know, you, you hear about cholesterol, but it's actually the ratio of your HDL to your LDL that's actually the, the biggest representative of your risk of <coughs> cardiovascular disease. And this is, 20% drop is incredibly significant. You're not going to see that with a lot of any diet stuff. You're not going to see that with pretty much anything else. This is incredibly significant, that drop. And then there's also a lot of things it's doing for your hormones. So your ability to utilize insulin goes down. And so all of your cells, they need insulin, which is a hormone, in order to open up and accept um, glucose so that you have energy in your body. If they become less sensitive to insulin, then you start just storing fat and you're, in a, and you're unable to store fat, you start gaining weight, you start being at a risk for diabetes, your actual, your risk goes up 100% if you have a sitting job for, for diabetes. Like this is serious, significant stuff. Sitting is more influential on your health than just about anything else. And so um, insulin resistance, metabolic disorders, which is your ability to break down energy, um, diabetes, your weight gain, all of that stuff is very hormonally connected and it's connected to sitting. And again, this isn't just about 
bad sitting or good sitting. This is sitting. So this is sitting at your job, coming home at night and watching TV, whatever it might be. We had someone make a comment about sitting on your bike. Pro probably not, but um, any other kind of sitting, this is what it's going to be. It's regardless of your chair. And so we have that. You also, we talked about your heart health. Um, there was a research study that said two hours of just like watching TV or sitting doubles your risk of a heart attack and you have an increase of, let's see what it was, after four hours, 50% increase of every kind of death. Like, that'd be nuts. And so, um, and, and I remember reading before that an active lifestyle decreases your risk of all, all diseases across the board by 50%. But here's the thing, most people think when they think active lifestyle, you're exercising. But that's actually not true. The active lifestyle part has to be non-sedentary. So that means like if you sit eight hours a day and then go to the gym for an hour, it do doesn't matter. Yeah, that's not, it's, that does not affect all of these levels at all. If you have a sedentary lifestyle, that means you're sitting for eight hours. It has no bearing whatsoever how much exercise you're doing after that. And so we're sitting on average 90% more than we did 100 years ago. This is not how our body is designed. Like it is a very complex and fascinating machine and it is not designed for any kinds of sitting for long periods of time. Um, there was another study that I thought was super interesting. Let me see if I can find it in my mess of papers here. Um, older people who move around have half the mortality rate of their peers. So this is really significant. And again, I want you to hear me, it's moving around. So this isn't, I'm not talking to you about you have to work out this many hours a day, 30 minutes of exercise. All of that stuff is based on, you know, fairly old research. This is actually activity throughout the day. And we'll talk again a bit more of that when we give you the what to do about this. So I wanted to be really clear here. You're going to um, increase your risk for a heart attack and every, every disease. You're going to increase your risk for diabetes and metabolic disorders. You're going to um, sig be significantly heavier than your non-sitting peers. <laughs> uh, you're going to have emotional issues. You're going to have pain issues, structural issues. You're going to develop like arthritis, all kinds of things in a more, like what was the stat you always give on arthritis that it puts how much more pressure on your, not arthritis. Well, sorry. yeah, once the spine misaligns, so if you don't have the proper curves in your spine, the bones and the discs wear out 300 times faster. 300 times faster. So you get early arthritis. So, I mean, I've uh, seen people who uh, are up in the years who don't have arthritis because they have proper curves. Mm -hmm. Sitting is the number one way to wreck your spine. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, it's one thing to have the bones wear out and the discs wear out, but the more important thing is that your spinal cord runs through the center of all the bones. So, I mean, once you start pressing on that, you can run into, well, all the health problems we're talking about now. Yep. Yeah. So those are kind of the big issues that we're gonna talk about, that we're talking about that sitting is um, causing. Um, now what to do, because you guys probably are a little freaked out now. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna die! <gasps> uh, okay, so what to do about this. Okay, so um, the big one that I found was that um, the study that drops all of, these, um, all of these risk factors by about 30% is if you can stand up, move around in just a light fashion, I'm talking about exercise, I'm talking like walk around the office, stand up, whatever it is for uh, uh, two minutes every 20 to 30 minutes you're going to drop all those risk factors by about 30 percent i also always like to think like they've done studies that your brain works in 90 minute cycles so during the night your sleep cycles are 90 minutes long and there is theories that your waking life is meant to recapitulate that pattern and so a good process like for learning they always say 90 minutes is your max so 90, 90 minutes is your max for productivity so honestly, if you want to combine work productivity with your health, the best thing to do is to do 60 to 90 minute cycles of work. Get up, walk across the office. Like there's a lot of things, phone calls, different things that you can do standing or walking. And you spend as much time doing that. Break those tasks out throughout the day. Put a little um, 
alarm on your computer to let you know, okay, it's been 60 minutes since last you started, 30 minutes, whatever it is, and give you a little cue to stand up and type for a bit, or walk around, go to the water cooler, do whatever it is, making sure you're getting up. And again, you might think, I don't have time, but every study will tell you, you are going to increase your productivity, your focus, your brain power, if you work in 60 to 90 minute cycles. And it, you don't need to take a lot of time. No. It's, it's two not minutes. like you need to get up and run around your office. Yeah. It's it's a two minute break. Yeah. So you don't just need to break bath sweat. lots. Yeah. <laughs> Drink more water so you're peeing all the time. Hey. And then tell your supervisor you're being super, super productive. Just make sure you stand when you pee. Thanks. <laughs> And ladies, there are tools to help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> Little funnels you can pee in so you can, you too can ride in the snow. Oh. Oh dear. Um, like we talked about, exercise doesn't help. So all of the studies show that it does not matter if you're act, if you're like, you have your periods of activity, doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Uh, you're not making up for anything. Yeah. The one exercise I always give people who sit a lot, um, it's super simple, I just call it a standing jumping jack, and I got this from uh, Dr. Michael Hall as well. You just want to stand up, make sure that your ear is directly above your shoulder so you don't want to have that slump forward posture, and literally all you're doing is hands to the side, and you want them to touch over your head. Like you're at a concert. You do this at concerts? You know how oh, they clap it. Oh my gosh! New kids on the block, A1. <laughs> <laughs> you can't so, stop. Um, yeah, and you want to do 10 reps. Like, it's something that you can fit into that little two minute break. And what you can think about while you're doing it, it's going to get your frontal cortex to fire. So you're going to feel happier. Yeah. And I don't know if it's just because you're going to feel silly because you're doing that. Maybe it's that. I don't know. But just listen to I Journey. I do when I'm having a bad day. Yeah. yeah. Just listen to some Journey and then. Mm. Mm. Yeah, journey. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, the other thing is, um, they say that the second best thing, if you can't stand, take breaks, do silly exercises throughout the day, the next best thing is if you can raise your workstation. Um, you can either you can often get a workstation on a treadmill, which is awesome. But even if you raise your workstation and get a stool, and then you semi perch on that stool, so you're partially sitting but you're partially standing. So making sure your feet are on the ground and that your, your tailbone can be sitting on the chair, but you are partially engaging your muscles so that you have that C, uh, the S curve, C curve. You have the S curve in your spine as well, and you're engaging some of those muscles that are releasing those healthy enzymes. Um, and that is gonna be really helpful. So you can do that. And I know a lot of offices um, are moving towards the stand up workstations or the ones that you, know, can, you can raise raise and lower. So talk to your boss, talk to your supervisor, what get them to watch the recording. I don't know. <laughs> We're we'll charming. Um, and then uh, lastly, like I said, um, one of the things I specialize in um, is hormone health. I'm passionate about hormone health. I find it fascinating. I'm just endlessly interested in it. And reflexology, which is a, a type of massage on the feet, which I've been doing, for, um, like third generation reflexologist, been doing it my whole life, is one of the best things I know to help balance your hormones. So this isn't going to be a replacement for taking these breaks. This, don't get me wrong, like this is... Like sit all day. Yeah, no, this isn't like a prescription to let you sit all day. This is getting your body back into balance and then making those changes to keep them. Because when you're making those changes, you're you're going to stabilize, but you're not going to regain all of the um, balance that you once had, if that makes any sense. So what you want to do often is, for a time, have a therapeutic, have a series of therapeutic sessions to get your hormones back in balance and incorporate these changes as much as possible so that your body isn't consistently put out of balance. Yeah. And well, and the way I see health as well is, um, you know, it's, it's an ongoing thing. It's like, you don't just brush your teeth once and go, oh, I'll brush them again when I get my next cavity. Um, I get reflexology from Christy and my goal is to have my hormones balanced and keep them balanced. Yeah. And that means not just, you know, going whenever I'm wackadoodle, but going, <laughs> Did time. she be getting wackadoodle? <laughs> yeah. And spine wise, the same thing. I'm, I do structural care. So I want to look at the spine to see is it misaligned? Do you have arthritis? You know, what's it going to take to get your spine back to healthy? And then maintenance to keep it there. So, yeah. Cool, cool stuff. So, um, our recommendations, just to review again 
Um, taking two minute breaks every 20 to 60 minutes, putting little notifications on your computer, whatever it is. Um, when you're, if you're sitting at home watching TV, um, try to do it either on a stool, like semi perching or at work, even on a stool, try to stand for some of it, try to get up, um, when you have commercial breaks or at the end of like a half hour, you know, 40 minute without commercial show, um, get up and move around for two minutes. These are really important and that's going to decrease a lot of the stuff. But honestly, you, you just have to become active throughout the day. This isn't about you, you know, that whole 30 minute exercise thing. This is about throughout the day, you need to be more active. If you want to have greater health, um, if you want to lose weight, you want to consistently um, have a longer life and be healthier. And I actually have to throw this in there too. Kids and video games. Mm. I mean, the posture they have when they're sitting and playing and they have their feet up and they're just slumped over. It's what I'm finding is that I'm seeing arthritis in younger and younger oh. people because that they sit. That's what we do as a society now. Yep. We sit. We're sitters. So super important for kids. Yeah. And there's all those active games now. Like you, they have games that engage the kids to stand up and be active in them. Those are great. Yep. Um, you're being you're being active. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, review kind of what what you should do. Um, try to stand up as much as possible, perching if you can't. And then lastly, um, if you want to see what reflex reflexology can do, I'm going to do uh, just free half hour um, consultations with people over the phone. Um, if you want to do that, you just have to let me know. And you can reach me at, and I'm going to type it into the chat, but if you're watching the recording, you're just going to have to listen really well. Uh, so it's just Chrissy, and that's K R I S T I at pranaholistic.ca. <coughs> so K R I S T I at P R A N A holistic, H O L I S T I C dot C A. Um, and you will be able to um, get a hold of me and I'd be more than happy to do a half hour consultation with you over the phone and tell you if I think I can help you. And I'm crazy honest. If I don't think I can help you, I will tell you. Michelle? And uh, yeah, for myself, um, anyone who's interested in having a spinal assessment done, um, I will do that at no charge. So uh, that would require a, a consultation. Um, if necessary, send you it for x-rays and then a follow-up appointment where I can review what I found and I love I Michelle's recommend. assessments. She sends sometimes if the client, like if they're a client of ours and they let let her, she'll send us a copy of this of the of the X-ray, and it has like here's your spine, here's where your spine's supposed to be, and it's so like it's so visual, like there's no denying it. It's like oh that ain't right, <laughs> like, <I'm off. laughs> that 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 so ain't right. And then you think about that, like here's a story just. This, I just think this is so powerful. I had a client uh, maybe four years ago who had developed suddenly developed diabetes, and it was type one diabetes. She had no family history. There was just no. She wasn't a, hadn't have the risk factor. She was very healthy. Like I think she was like twenty one at the time. It was just bizarre. And we look back at her history, and sure enough, like uh, I think it was nine months earlier, she'd had a car accident, and her injury was at a mid spine. Well, guess what? Nerves are fed from the mid spine, the pancreas. And she also developed um, uh, gluten intolerance, uh, celiac, and small intestine um, nerves are coming from the same area. To me, like, that is so, and I talked to my friend who is an engineer, he's an accident reconstruction engineer, he's like, no, there's no way those are related. related. And I'm like, that is the most illogical nonsense. Like, yeah, if you think about that, two bones are like pinching on a nerve, how on earth does that nerve feeding that organ not be compromised it makes no sense and so the, the I know what people often think the spinal assessments or, or chiropractic care is just for back pain but it is so not and that's yeah. why I love Michelle because she's very holistically minded and she doesn't think I'm crazy when I say stuff like that because yeah, <laughs> I, I say it all the time <laughs> you just said it for me yeah <laughs> and we see each other because we think each other are the best the bomb the diggity boom boom <laughs> okay, so you want to tell them how you can, they can reach you? Oh, because I'm recording. Yeah, you can call uh, my office and talk to Stacy if you want to book an appointment. Just let her know she's aware uh, that we've done this. And the phone number is 780-443-0012.
780-443-0012. And Christy at pranaholistic.ca. Boom! Okay, so we're going to leave this recording at the bottom here. There, you're going to see at the bottom there is a library, a video library. This recording will be there. Feel free to share that with other people. Um, this is just meant to be informational. Um, hope you guys get you guys standing. We're going to stand right away. She's going to give me an adjustment, actually. Yep. And then we're going to stand. I'm going to go to a restaurant and then ask them for a stand-only table. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank you guys for coming very, very much. If you're willing to chat, maybe um, now you wouldn't mind just typing something in about any questions you have or any comments you have. And again, it's just on the right-hand side. You can see there's like a big box, a little blue button that says say. You just have to type something in there, press say. It'll ask you for a nickname. You put that nickname in. Uh, you can be anonymous if you want. And then uh, ask a question, make a comment, tell us we're super amazing and we love us and you wish you could see us every single day on your computer because we're super special. Whatever. I mean, I'm just making suggestions here. Um, but yeah, uh, we would really love to hear from you. So if any of you are shy, now's the time. Otherwise, we're going to wrap this up. No? Okay. All right, you guys are shy. That's okay. Okay, so feel free again to share the recording. Um, and uh, if you have any other suggestions of anything you'd like us to cover, maybe you have like a health concern or something that you're hearing like a whole bunch of conflicting information about, and you would like to hear from two of the smartest, coolest ladies ever, then uh, please just go onto the Facebook. I think a lot of you guys got the Facebook invites. So go onto either of our Facebook pages uh, and um, ask. Ask the question. We would love to hear. Okay, that's all. That's it. Peace out. Michelle, Christy, 